back to my channel guys in today's video we are going to learn about the detailed operation of all fluid boiler maker is Albrox so before going into the video please do share like and subscribe to the, my channel so let's get started so here we'll go to the detailed operation of all fluid boiler so this is the main screen of all fluid boiler here we have the PLC module so we have five number of modules in which we have two input modules in module number one and module number two along with two input modules we had three output modules number three number four number five so what is input and output module of a plc input module means it will get the input signal from all the uh, all the we have different kind of you know field sources device like we have transmitter we have switches we have so many things so from all these things it will get get the input signal into the input module number one and module number two and along with the data that is sent to the PLC it will process some output and that output will go through the output module number three four and five so what does the output module will do based on the input command given it will open either the valve it will either close the valve either it will stop the fan so this either it will start the fan so based on the input signal given it will do its work from the output module so in the PLC you see the gray button that is there it's not used only the green buttons are used so if you if we go to input module number one there are various buttons like in input module number one the zero is for too low water level if water level is low so the pressure transmitter so the water level controller will give an alarm from there the signal will go to the PLC module to the input module number one and there it will give too low water level one is for high steam pressure two is for low atomizing steam four is for lens is inserted so this is the burner lens okay if it is inserted or not it will give signal from the number four number six is for high oil temperature number seven is for low oil pressure if we go to the output module zero is for steam combustion air fan start combustion air fan so this is the boiler fd fan or combustion air fan so from zero it will give the output signal to start the fan we have three for open atomizing steam valve so it will get the input signal from the P, uh, from the field devices and based on the field devices input signal it will process the output and it will open the steam inlet valve. it is for oil valves if it is uh, not in open position like if the boiler has given the start command and the all valve oil valve position is not in open condition then it should give alarm oil valves in wrong position then we have uh, like low atomizing pressure then we have uh, low fuel oil pressure then we have high fuel oil temperature we have low steam pressure so based on the input that has been received from the field devices to the plc unit it will process the output unit and it will give some alarm signal or the error signal or the stop signal to the output of the controller so plc will give all these output and we can see in the boiler main screen whether which alarm it is giving so this is the trip amplifier which is used for the starting and stopping of boiler here we have air and oil controller okay which is located in the boiler and this is the we have boiler fd fan this we have fuel oil recirculation valve and we have this atomizing steam controller valve here the control air line and here we have you see igniter inserted feedback switch so this switch actually senses whether the igniter has been inserted or not if it is not inserted then it will give you signal igniter not inserted and this is main flame eye it will sense the main flame has been established or not and based on that it will give some signal so now the boiler is in start condition it is kept in auto mode and no alarm and shutdown is present so now we will proceed with the steps so what happened is trip amplifier suppose the boiler set point in the controller is like 5 bar so once the 5 bar steam pressure reaches it will give start signal from this trip amplifier it will goes to the plc so the plc from point number 12 it will start this is for the burner start and stop signal so from here what will happen 
like here you have two input input one and input two so these things will initiate whether to start or stop so from here from the trip amplifier it will send the start signal of the boiler start signal of the boiler once it sent it will goes to the number 12 input of the plc so once it goes to the number 12 input of the plc number 12 is for start and stop so it has sent start signal so now the start sequence is started so what will happen what will happen next we will see in the next next step so based upon the signal received we have like I, I told you once we have received the start signal and the input module number one it will initiate three outputs what are those three outputs in the module number three of the PLC you will see the zero zero it will goes to the point zero and from here it will send one output signal to start the FD fan and it will go to number three and from three it is opening atomizing steam inlet valve and it will goes to number seven which is boiler burner normal stop so also on the boiler control panel you will see whether the boiler is in normal stop position or not okay so it will see these three things and it will eight and output number six okay so what is output number eight output number eight is purge position request so it will open the fd fan for the purging position what is the purging position fd fan wells will open fully so this is the number eight and this is the number six number six is close position request so what is this close position request So what is happening in this step is this air slash oil controller controller which is CPA D24 it is receiving signal from the PLC and also it is sending signal to the PLC it is sending signal to the PLC output module number 4 okay so it is opening the purging position and it is closing the position request so what will happen to the next step what is the purge position? Purge position means air flow should be 70% and oil flow should be 20%. The air and oil control send signal to the FD fan balance positioner. The vanes are open till the air flow which is 70%. So you see, in this step what is happening? You see the air flow is increasing. Because this has sent PLC signal and from the PLC signal has been sent to the FD fan positioner. So what it will do is it will open the veins of the FD fan so now the FD fan's veins will start opening slowly slowly because the purge position set in the air oil controller is 70% so once the position is set at 70% it will open the veins till the air feedback gives this purging request so we know in the purge request this is 70% so it will open the veins till 70% once this 70% is achieved it will stop there so now you see the air flow request is 70% and we have achieved 70% air flow in the air oil controller it will keep the oil controller uh, the oil valve will be kept at 20% why because this is in pausing position okay so now once the airflow reaches 70% what it will do is 
once the pod position is achieved the air oil controller sends a feedback to the plc so from here once this is achieved it will send a signal to the point 15 of the plc that is pod position is proven so okay feedback sensor which is the c part at ps2 which is sensing the fd fan vanes position it has senses that okay the fd fan is uh, open till 70 percent and the air flow is achieved so it will give signal input signal to the plc input module number one point number 15 that is pause position proven so once it will sense okay it has been open till the required it will start purging now so we will see in the next step in the next step from plc we are we have got signal okay the pause position is proven so based on that it is processing to output which is 0.8 and 0.9 okay once purging period is over the purge position request to the air oil controller is deactivated ignition position request is activated so what is happening now 70 percent it was this air controller was open till 70 percent it will start counting it will go till 60 seconds once this is active once this is done what it will do the purging period is over so the purge position request to the air oil controller is deactivated so from here this purge position will deactivate and it will go to the ignition request what is happening in purge request is in purge request the oil flow controller is kept short so oil flow is not increasing oil flow is kept at 20 percent only only the air flow is increasing in purging request so it is deactivating in purge position it is deactivating the oil flow valve it is only opening the air valve so this you have to keep in mind so it has processed to output that purge position is request so what it will do in purge once the purge position is over it will again start closing the vents slowly slowly and ignition position is request so it will start the ignition sequence so let's proceed with the next step what is the ignition position? Ignition position means air and oil flow should be 20%. So this air oil controller, this will send signal to the FD fan vanes position. So that it gives command to the vanes so that the vanes of the FD fan should reach to such position where the air flow is minimized to 20%. So you see the command has been given, the vanes started closing. So now air flow is achieved, air flow has been received which is 20% air flow, required is 20%, feedback is also 20%. So now input has been given to the point 15, purge position proven and you have seen the air flow is now 20%. So the vanes has reached to a position where the air flow has been reached to 20%. So now we are moving on to next step. Once the ignition position is achieved. So now the ignition position is achieved, air flow is 20%, oil flow is also 20%. The air oil flow controller sends a feedback to the PLC. So once this controller has senses that I have got 20% air and 20% fuel, it will give signal to the PLC and where it will give signal to the PLC, it will give to the input model. Like I said, this is how the ignition process can be started. So here once we proceed, what we see is the igniter is inserted so once it will sense everything is okay so it will process the output what output it will process start ignition so once it will send start ignition signal the burner lance is drawn so it will come down and once it is come down you see two valves have been opened the solenoid valve for diesel oil pilot burner so in this what you have to see once the ignition position is achieved it will send plc will send start signal start ignite uh, ignition signal to the controller unit and it will start the diesel oil pump once the diesel oil pump is started same time this diesel oil valve solenoid valves will open two valves are there both should be open at once and we have also solenoid valve for combustion air so three things are happening diesel oil pump is starting Visual oil solenoid valve is opening and also the solenoid valve for combustion air is opening. After ignition, signal is given, 
three things are happening diesel oil pump for pilot burner is starting diesel oil solenoid valves are opening two valves are there back to back and we have solenoid valve for combustion air once this is done your electrodes also will give signal electrode will start so we have air fuel and we have spark so fire will take place and the pilot burner ignites so the igniter is inserted diesel oil pump starts diesel oil solenoid valves and combustion air solenoid valves open electrode starts sparking and now we have fire inside the boiler by the means of pilot burner okay now we'll move ahead so once it senses okay fire is there inside the boiler point 10 is ignite ignition lance inserted this will give input feedback signal to the plc okay ignition igniter has been inserted so plc point number 10 it will sense okay igniter is down it means the pilot burner is inside and also it will sense the flame so we have we are receiving two input in this case the input number 10 igniter is inserted input number 11 igniter flame is on it means fire is there inside the bulb it will process one output that is ignition lamp inserted so what output it will process ignition lamps inserted what is that we'll see so magnetic switch 16s 14e sends in, uh, igniter inserted we have here magnetic switch right igniter inserted feedback switch so it will send input signal to the plc that it has been inserted then plc will send send out output signal for the indication on panel that is burner lens is inserted once pilot burner flame is established igniter flame i sends feedback to the plc via trip amplifier so once flame is on you have flame i for the pilot burner it will give signal through the trip amplifier to the PSC. okay your lens is inserted you have flame inside you have everything inside so it will go to the next step what is happening in the next step we have everything we have primary burner or the pilot burner in firing position we have burner lens inserted everything is okay no alarms nothing so in the next step the pilot burner flame i senses flame and it will open the main burner oil valves open okay so input number 10 limit switches on oil valve okay that the valves are open or close and it will process the output open oil valves so limit switches it will sense whether they are in open position or close position based on that it will give command to process the output via plc to open the open the fuel oil valve so these are the two valves we have fuel oil valves so what it will do here we have control here for opening these two valves plc will process the output and through instrument here these two oil valves will open so from here fuel is there fuel oil inlet line from here it is coming and we have fuel oil flow meter from here it is fuel oil recirculation valve we have we have fuel oil recirculation valve this is the automatic this is the manual valve we have so this automatic valve it will go to the main valve which is a fuel oil cutter valve and from here fuel oil is going inside the burner and then we have fire inside the burner or the boiler we have fire inside the boiler with the help of main fuel oil valve so feedback of the oil valves open position sent to plc it has been sent to the plc that okay fuel valves are open in the next step the main flame i here we have the main flame i sensor it will senses okay there is fire inside the boiler what will happen if it if the um, the main flame i comes into action if it does not see a flame flame failure alarm will activate so we have five flame pickup number one so what this flame pickup number one is doing once the main burner is in firing position 
it will sense the flame inside the boiler it will see flame is there inside the boiler it will give okay flame is on if the flame is no, not on then it will initiate a stop signal then boiler will go to a stop mode it will do post purging and then it will stop so if it it does not see a flame flame failure alarm is activated and the boiler shuts down the pilot burner assists the main burner during this period and this is we call it safety time which runs for 5 seconds or 10 seconds I don't remember exactly so we have to see this so during the safety time the main burner is firing the pilot burner is assisting for the main burner and it will count the timer will count during the safety time ignition signal from PLC deactivates this is the output starting ignition so once this deactivate it will close this diesel after this safety time is gone we have safety timer okay once this timer is gone then after 10 seconds the timer will cut off it will stop the diesel oil pump it will stop this uh, oil valves solenoid oil valve it will stop this combustion air valve so once it senses everything it will stop everything here this pilot burner will stop So ignition signal from PLC deactivates, then the pilot burner will stop firing. It is purged with air and then it is extracted out. Now from where the air is coming, we have seen the control air line. Okay. So from here the air will go, it will purge this pilot burner. So once this pilot burner is purged, then it will be taken out. So we'll move on to next step and we'll see the things. The ignition position request to air oil controller is deactivated. So from here it will deactivate. We can see in the output ignition position request it will deactivate. Then it will go to modulation. I will uh, explain you later what is modulation. Free. The ignition position request to the air controller air and oil controller is deactivated modulation free request is activated and boiler load starts to modulate depending on auto slash casket mode selection so now you have see here we have the <coughs> air and oil set at 20 percent each and boiler is firing smoothly if the load is increasing based on that the oil controller will increase the flow of oil and the air flow will increase and it will be sent by a preference it will open the vents position and air flow will increase so the now everything is okay lance has been withdrawn it has been purged with air it has been taken out main burner is firing and boiler is running in modulation free mode so a boiler is in auto mode once the steam pressure is reached which is I guess 6, 6 to 6 to 6.5 bar so till the time the boiler will run normally if the load is high it will increase the load which is air as well as fuel it will control the both 